anybody that's watching this, you're leaving money on the table. If you're not doing these things, if you don't get your stuff done timely, you don't have a good team, you're not consistent, you don't have the connections, and lastly, you gotta have the faith and the belief. Because you can't quantify work ethic, can you? But you know what? I'd rather have a kid that's less talented and works harder than a kid that's more talented and doesn't work as hard any day of the week. And college coaches need that. Why? Because they have to develop. You're not just getting this guy for a year most of the time. You're committing to this kid, even though the scholarships are only one year. You know that. You're committing to this kid that, hey, I think you can help us win. You're gonna be in my program, a representation of me and our school. And I gotta make sure for the next four years that not only you stay in school and get your degree, which is very important, okay? Or else we wouldn't be talking about college, all right? Get your degree, but also I gotta make sure that you represent our university or our program right the right way the next four years or two years for a junior college. That's a big risk. Why don't any coaches want to put their name to a player? Because if they put their name to a player and he goes out and does what he does, then all of a sudden it makes this guy look bad. But that's the ego talking. So the faith comes in when I recommend the kid, whether it's to you, whether it's talking to you about our quarterbacks, football guys, I will never make a recommendation for a kid that I don't think is gonna get the job done off the field. And a kid that has it here. Maybe he doesn't have it here yet, but he's got it here. And I'm not trying to be cliche. I'm being 100% honest with you. I've done this for a long time. Every single one of my kids have signed to go to the next level. I don't care about the credit. What I care is if I die tomorrow, I'll be able to say that I made a difference. That's why.